I've got two different tasks going on right now in the room. I've got my kids that struggle with math a little bit more. They're trying to figure out how many of each, how many different coin combinations they can use to make a dollar. No pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels. How many combinations are there that make a dollar? I've got my kids that are not struggling as much doing the tax collector problem. They have 18 envelopes. They're trying to get as much as they can for themselves and leave fewer for the tax uh, for the tax collector. Um, they're learning about factoring. They're learning about uh, multiples. They're learning about prime numbers, composite numbers. The kids that are doing the money problem are learning multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Uh, they're also learning combinations. Lots of things going on. Let's take a look. How many combinations do you guys have? How many do you have so far? Ten. Ten combinations. Do you think there are more? Oh wait, no, nine. Actually, nine. 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 Okay, nine. You're still working on your tenth. Do you think, hey Genesis, do you think there are more? How do you know? There's a bunch of different ways that you can use the quarters of dimes and nickels. Actually, wait, no, that one? Seven nickels! No, no, eight nickels. Okay. Wait, we can do It's eight. No, but we can do six or three. It's eight. But two, no, two quarters. Five. Wait, no, Okay. So talk to us about this. You, you think that you did it the best you could do it? $124? You can do better than the 124? There's a 99.9% .9 chance that it's possible. Really? So we put 17, which is 1. Why'd you start with that one? Because it's the highest number that can be only divided by 1. We put 15 because it does three and five, which is eight. What do you mean? We didn't realize that dollars. And it also makes it easier to just do that, and so you can just add it up. Yeah. Putting, but it's confusing when it's like that. Yeah, but it's confusing. If it's a two-digit number, then if you have commas here, when you're adding, you might think that the two-digit number goes back. What is a comma? What is a comma? It's confusing because now like it's all messed up. Yes, oh, that's how it's messed up. Oh, seven obviously because because it literally looks like, 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 like this is not messed up. Yeah, that, it's not but messed seven up. is They're obviously fun. not gonna go with ten. Twenty-two. Thirty. Thirty-three. Yeah, put, the, put three by right here. Okay, so we the kids spent significant time working on those tasks, and now they are in random pairs doing a math chat. They're walking around the room, they're doing a gallery walk, and they're chatting about what they see, what they did, they're critiquing the boards, and just talking up math. Check it out. So this one, you should always put down the trend to get more. How? How is wrong? Is that? 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 Is that?